Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Osem Wasapi and in this video we'll be looking at red law practice problems. Alright, so before we begin, do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Alright, let's get to it. So in the first question, we've been given the following data. We have three trials, which is trial one, two and three. We've been given the concentration of carbon monoxide and that of oxygen, as well as the initial rate in morality per watt second so with the data given to us we can determine the following a says the rate law so for us to find the rate law what we're supposed to do first is to find the rate order of each reactant present in our data the first reactant we have is carbon monoxide so what we'll do first is to find the order of what carbon monoxide so Let's find the right order with respect to carbon monoxide. So, what we're going to do is to look for the concentration that only changed for carbon monoxide. And that was constant for oxygen. So, if you look closely, you'd find that it's what? Rate 2 and rate what? 3, which is trial, trial 2 and trial 3. So, you're going to get rate 2 and what? Red 3. So now red 2 is going to be equivalent to the concentration of water, carbon monoxide, with respect to the red, which is red 2. Then raised to the power of what? X. Then times the concentration of what? Oxygen. With uh, the order of what? Y. Then this will be ratioed out to the rate of 3, which also has the concentration of what? Carbon monoxide since it's also to the x over the concentration of oxygen to the y now this can be written in a manner as rate 2 over rate 3 is equal to concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to rate 2 over the concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to rate 3 and though this will be to the power x by the concentration of what? Oxygen over the concentration of oxygen with respect to rate 3 to the order of what? Y. At this point, we can now just substitute. The rate 2 is equivalent to 3.20 times 10 to the minus 4 over rate 3, which is 1.28 times 10 to the minus 3. This is equal to the rate, the concentration of oxygen with respect to rate 2. Sorry, concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to rate 2, which is 0 0.0110 over the concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to rate 3, which is going to be 0 0.0220 to the power of x. The concentration of oxygen with respect to rate 2, which is 0 0.0150 over the concentration of oxygen with respect to rate 3 which is the same 0.015 watt 0 this is raised to the y so we know that in actual sense this will cancel out and if you simplify this portion here you end up having 0 0.25 and this is equivalent to this divided by that that will give you about 0 0.5 raised to the x now we know that this is m 0 0.5 to the x being equal to 0 0.25. what? So if you apply logs, remember log best answer is equal to power. So if you want, you can just use the basic index. So this will be 1 over 2 to the x being equal to 1 over what? 4. So this is m as 1 over 2 to the x being equal to what? 1 over 2. 2. This cancels with that. If you drop the powers, you end up having x being equal to what? 2. Therefore, we can say that the order of carbon monoxide is 2. Therefore, we say second what? Order. As simple as that. Then we do the same thing for oxygen. Now for oxygen, we need to look for one that changed for oxygen only and did not change for carbon monoxide. 
and that is rate 1 and rate 2. So for oxygen, this was for carbon uh, monoxide. So for oxygen, put it here. We say rate 1 over rate 2 being equal to the concentrations that we have of carbon monoxide with respect to rate 1 over the concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to rate 2 to the x times the concentration of oxygen over the concentration of oxygen with respect to rate 2 to the order of y. If you substitute, you end up having 3.19 times 10 to the minus 4 over 3.20 times 10 to the minus 4 being equal to the concentration of carbon dioxide with respect to trial 1 which would be 0 0.0110 the concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to trial 2 which is 0 0.0110 to the x times the concentration of oxygen with respect to trial 1 which would be 0 0.0075 over the concentration of oxygen with respect to trial 2 which is 0 0.0150 and this will be to the y. If you simplify, we know that this part cancels out. So if you do the top divided by the bottom, you end up having 1.0 because this will be about 0 0.996875 being equivalent to what you get when you divide this and that. I decided to put this divided by that on this side because we end up swapping in the end. So this divided by that you will end up having 0 0.5 to the y. Push the screen this side. So if you do uh, your math right, you have 0 0.5y being equal to 0 0.996875. So basically what we can do here is uh, to round off. Yeah, we can round this off. Or we can just use the basic knowledge of logs. We know that log base answer should give you the what? power. So here what I can do is I can get the power then log my base is 0 0.5 my answer is 0 0.996875 if I compute this by first converting I have y being equal to log of 0 0.9 96875 over log of 0.5 and located my y being equal to 0. Therefore, I can conclude that for the concentration of oxygen, the order is what? 0. So, you could say 0 at order. And that is how you find the order. Now, this doesn't mean that you have found what we're looking for, which is the right law. So, the right law The rate law will be in this manner. So, rate law is equal to rate constant concentration of carbon monoxide raised to its order 2 times the concentration of what? Oxygen raised to its order 0. And this is the rate law. I hope it's clear. Upon finding this, we can move on to the next part. Let's see what B tells us to do. So B says, determine the value of the rate constant K. So we need to find the value of the rate constant K. Now, finding the value of the rate constant is quite simple. You can just update to this side. And see what we can do. Remember, for the rate constant, you just have to pick any trial of your choice, provided that it's simple for you. So I can get uh, any trial, which could be... Let me get trial two. I feel like trial 2 would be better. So I get trial 2. Trial 2. So if I get trial 2, I'm having rate 2 being equal to K. Concentration of carbon monoxide raised to that. Concentration of oxygen raised to that. Then I just have to make K the subject by dividing both sides by the concentrations of these reactants. Even the other side will do the same. So this part cancels out with that. So this cancels out. This this part here just gets eliminated. So it's like we're just saying that this cancels like that. 
So we end up having Kb equal to right 2 over concentration of CO to the 2, concentration of O2. So all we have to do now is to substitute. So you can say, okay, K is now equal to right 2. What is right 2? Right 2 is 3.20 times 10 to the minus 4 over concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to trial 2 which is 0 0.0110 raised to the power of 2 the concentration of oxygen which is 0 0.0150 to the power of 0 if this is computed then K will be equivalent to 2.6446280099 so the value of the rate constant K if we round it off is just 2.64 so we have our rate constant to be 2.64. So that's the value of the rate constant K. Alright, so initially we have question C. But now, just for thoughts, if you look here, the value of the rate constant is 2.64. In most cases, they won't say that uh, find the units. Suppose they don't say find the units, but you have been asked to calculate the rate constant, just find the units. So for the units, we can just do data. Okay, so the units will be, remember, the formula is m to the 1 minus n times s to the minus 1, where n is the overall order. So the overall order is the order of carbon monoxide plus the order of oxygen, which is 2 plus 0. So n is 2. So I have m 1 minus 2 times s to the minus 1. So it will be m to the minus 1 times s to the minus 1. So we're having our needs to be m to the minus 1 times s to the minus 1. Yeah, now this is perfect. This is our final answer now. Don't forget the units, please don't. Even if they haven't asked. Now let's move on to the second question. Okay, so they're saying determine the initial rate of the reaction when the concentration of carbon monoxide is that and the concentration of oxygen 2 is that okay it's supposed to be oxygen and not hydrogen so let's erase that okay so what we're going to do is quite simple now what you have to understand is this other than graphical means the initial rate can be calculated by using the rates that have been given yeah that's why we use the right law okay so provided that the initial concentration are given you can still find the initial rate of a reaction. Let's find this initial rate. So we we'll say initial rate, initial rate is equal to the rate constant times the concentration of carbon monoxide. Okay, with the order of two times the concentration of oxygen with the order of what? Zero. So what we're going to do is to just get the concentrations that we have and uh, we'll use the value of the rate constant we found. So initial rate, so we just say initial rate now is equivalent to the rate constant that we found which was 2.64 times the concentration of carbon monoxide that we have being given here which is 0 0.242 times that of oxygen which is 0 0.0133 to the power of 0. If you compute this, you end up having your initial rate, your initial rate to be equivalent to 0 0.1546 But if I can if I round this off, I have my initial rate to be equivalent to 0.15 right about second. So that would be our final answer. Now I really want us to look at a different question from uh, some of the tutorials that I've actually uh, found. So let's try them out. Okay, so now you're allowed to pause the video and attempt to do this question on your own. So I'll be a bit quick. They're saying given uh, the reaction rate data for that reaction, they're saying, they're saying determine the order of each reactant and the overall reaction order. So to determine the the order of each reactant we begin with the order of uh, F2 so we can get let's look for the one that changed for F2 only so that's rate 1 
and red three. Yeah, red one and red three. So we'll say, okay, red one. So this is for F2. So we'll say red one over red two, red three. This will give you the concentration of F2 over the concentration of F2 to the X times the concentration of what? ClO2 over the concentration of ClO2 this is to the Y alright so we can begin to substitute so right one is having 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 over right 3 which is having 2.4 times 10 to the minus 3 being equal to Okay, so this would be concentration of F2 for rate 1, which is 0 0.10, rate 3, 0 0.20. To the X, for the other one, we are having 0 0.010 over 0 0.010 to the Y. So this cancels out. If we do up a quick computation, we have 0 0.5 being equal to 0 0.5 X. So this basically just gives you 1. So X is equal to what? 1. Therefore, we can say the order of F2 is first order, so 1. So we say first order. So we do up, we do up the order for the other reactant. So we can do it this other side. So let's look for COO2. So for this one, we have to pick the one that only changed for it. So it will be right 1 and uh, right 2. So we say red 1 over red 2 is equal to concentration of F2 over concentration of what? F2 to the X concentration of ClO2 over concentration of what? ClO2 to the Y. So this gives you 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 over 4 times 8 times 10 to the minus 3 being equal to so the concentration of F2 in rate 1 and rate 2 is the same so you have 0 0.10 over 0 0.10 to the x times uh, that of y with respect to rate 1 is 0 0.010 over this with respect to rate 2 which is 0 0.040 to the y so this will give you if you compute because we know this part to cancel out so we'll have 0 0.25 being equal to this part if you compute it you will have uh, 0 0.25 to the y so since these are the same you know we end up getting a 1 so y is equal to 1 so we can conclude to say that that of this reactant is also first order so we say first what? Order. As simple as that. Let's move on to the next question. B says write the right law for the reaction. So the right law is simply going to be K, concentration of what you have, which are the two reactants raised to their orders. So we have X and COO2, we have Y, plug in for X and Y, we have the right law. B equal to K, F2, raised to 1, CO2, also raised to 1. And that's our rate law. C says calculate the rate constant K and state its units. Okay, so we have to pick any rates that we are interested in. So we can pick rate, ah, let's, pick for, let's just pick rate 1 to avoid wasting time. So rate 1 is equal to K, concentration of what? F2 to the first order, CO2 to the first order. If you make K the subject of the formula, you end up having something like K being equal to rate 1 over F2 and CO2, 1, 1. So K is equal to rate 1, which is having uh, 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 over concentrations at 0 0.10 here, even the other side 0 0.10 zero like that if you compute this you end up having k being equal to 1.2 which 
but since we also need the units remember the units we say m to the 1 minus n times s to the minus 1 the overall order is 1 plus 2 because you have to add x plus y so you get the units to be equivalent to 1 minus 2 times s to the minus 1 so you get the units to be 1 m to the minus 1 times s to the minus 1 therefore you have k being equal to 1.2 m to the minus 1 times s to the minus 1 that's the final answer all right so we have another question here so this question uh, is also simple to understand we have to do the same thing it's literally the same concept so consider the table of initial rates for the reaction between hemoglobin and carbon monoxide so the experiments of the reactants and the initial rates so I have to find the order with respect to hemoglobin you can pause the video and attempt to do it on your own all right let's begin so you need to look for one that only changed for hemoglobin which is rate 1 and rate 2 so we say rate 1 about rate 2 so you get concentration of hemoglobin over the concentration of hemoglobin to the x times concentration of carbon monoxide over the concentration of what? carbon monoxide to the y when you plug in the values you get 0 0.619 over 1.24 being equivalent to 2.21 over 4.42 to the x then you have 1.00 here over 1.00 to the y so this cancels out basically it cancels out so if you compute this you have 0.4991935487 being equal to 0.5x if you apply the logs because log base answer equals to power you will end up having x being equal to log of 0 0.5 by 0 0.49919358 so here we know what to do we can say x is equal to log 0 0.49919358 over log 0 0.5 therefore the order will be what? 1 so for hemoglobin the order is 1 so it's actually a first order let's move on to the second one so order with respect to carbon monoxide Alright, so we need to find the one that only changed for carbon monoxide. But in this case, it was quite a bit interesting. Those, we didn't have any other one that was constant. So, we're just going to pick rate 2 and rate 3. So, let's pick rate 2 and rate 3 and see what happens. So, you'll get concentration of HB over the concentration of what? HB to the X, concentration of CO the concentration of CO to the Y. If you do some computation, you have 1.24 over 2.26 being equal to 4.42 over 3.36. Now, since we already know the order of one of these, here we have the concentration to be one, one over two point what? Y. So we know the order of x, which is 1, so we can just plug it there. So if we do our calculations rightly, we'll end up having a scenario of this case. Because if you compute this end, you have a value, and if you compute this part, you also have another value. So this will give you something like 0 0.5486 seven two five six six over one point three one five four seven six one nine being equal to one over two point four to the y uh -huh. in simple terms we can put it like this so it's like we're having one over two point four to the y being equal to if I simplify this I'll be having zero point four one seven zero nine zero 
four, five, seven. Then this is the same as this portion is the same as zero point four one six 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 to the y being equal to zero point four one seven zero nine zero four five seven. So what we do here we we'll just apply logs. And if we do that, we'll avoid being equal to log of zero point four one six 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 times uh, zero point four one seven zero nine zero four five seven. We know how this will work. We say y is equal to log of zero point four one seven zero nine zero four five seven over log zero point four one six 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 six. So in the end, you end up having y being equal to what? Zero point nine nine eight eight three eight eight one six, which is just one. So you can say that for carbon monoxide, its order is one. So it's also a first order reaction. So it's a first order. Just like that. And I'm saying we get the right law. So the right law is equal to K concentration of hemoglobin. So it's X, so we're having first order. Carbon monoxide so Y value is one. So this is your right law. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The value and unit of the rate constant. Okay, so we say rate law. So we pick a rate of our choice. So rate is equal to K, concentration of HB to the one, concentration of CO to the one. So this is the mass K being equal to, if you compute this clearly, you have rate over concentration of HB to the one, concentration of CO to the one. Then K is good, we can pick any rate of our choice. Let's go for rate one, 0 0.61619 over concentration of HB, which is 2.21. Carbon monoxide, that's one. So you end up having K being equal to, if you compute that, you end up having 0 0.28. For the units, we know it works now. So it's going to be M over is two, so it's to be a minus one times S to the minus one. So M to the minus one times S to the minus one. So this will be our final answer. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Osei Mosapi. If you have more questions, you can contact me on WhatsApp on the number attached to the screen and I'm in my description. Do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and strategize before becoming a statistic and share push for the I plus.